With our upcoming special report, we're aiming to provide clinicians with a focused overview of the monkeypox outbreak, where we discuss the epidemiology and risk factors, emphasize preparedness and preventative strategies both on an individual and public health level, and provide clinicians with a focused overview of how to diagnose and manage a patient who may be infected with monkeypox. Hello, I'm Dr. Nishal Ranganath, and I'm an Infectious Disease Fellow in the Division of Public Health, Infectious Diseases, and Occupational Medicine here at the Mayo Clinic. Today, I wanted to discuss with you all our article titled, Monkeypox 2022, Gearing Up for Another Potential Public Health Crisis that is set to appear in the Mayo Clinic Proceedings in the upcoming September 2022 issue. The world is rapidly evolving around us, first with the COVID-19 pandemic and now the evolving outbreak of monkeypox globally. At the same time, knowledge around these infectious diseases is increasing exponentially. It is with this in mind that we wanted to provide clinicians with a resource and reference that provides a focused overview of the clinical considerations to be given when caring for a patient with monkeypox infection, as well as a comprehensive approach to diagnosis, prevention, and treatment. Within this report, we discuss the virology and epidemiology of monkeypox infection, highlighting that this is not a new infection. It has a long history dating back to its first isolation in 1970 in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Even though it has now come to the forefront with the global outbreak involving the Western world, we emphasize in our paper that this disease remains endemic in several countries in Africa. We highlight the mechanism of human-to-human -human transmission of infection, and its implication to IPAC, or infection prevention and control measures, on a hospital and community level. We also discuss the clinical phases of monkeypox illness and provide information on how best to recognize infection in a suspected case. One interesting point we emphasize in our report is that during the current outbreak, several patients have had predominant mucosal, genital, or perianal lesions without the classic prodromal symptoms. We then move on to provide information relevant to day-to-day -day clinical practice, including diagnostic approach, describing who should be tested, how samples should be collected and submitted to testing sites, and this includes local departments of health and the CDC. Lastly, we focus our review on treatment strategies and post-exposure prophylaxis. Treatment should be considered in those with severe disease or who are at risk of severe disease, including children, pregnant or breastfeeding women, and immunocompromised patients. The current approved treatments include tecovirumat and brincidofovir, both approved for smallpox treatment, and we outline current evidence on its utility in the monkeypox outbreak. In parallel, post-exposure prophylaxis may be considered in those who had confirmed exposure to monkeypox through public health investigation or contact tracing, and we discuss available options in this setting. All things said, most of these decisions should be made by a shared decision-making between patients, healthcare providers, and state departments of health. Here at the Mayo Clinic, a multidisciplinary approach has been employed to manage this public health crisis. Mayo Clinic reaches out to all internal stakeholders in the enterprise to provide accurate, timely, and detailed guidance on approach to a suspected case with specific attention to infection prevention and control and therapeutic consideration. We also attempt to employ a direct line of communication with state health authorities to give time and care to our patients and community. We have developed a resource called Ask Mayo Expert for timely guidance and recommendations when managing this outbreak. So where do we go from here? There are certainly more questions than answers at this time that require future research. We will need to explore clinical outcomes of this monkeypox outbreak with an aim at understanding prognostic risk factors. We will also need to further study the efficacy and outcomes of treatment with tecovirumab in patients with monkeypox infection and post-exposure prophylaxis with genios in patients who have high-risk exposures. So there's certainly a lot of exciting future work to be done to best care for our patients. Thank you for listening. We invite you to read our special report that will be published in the upcoming September issue of the Mayo Clinic Proceedings. Thank you. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. 
There you'll find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel, or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about Healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.